Hi guys, it's Jess from Honest Fiction and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the Guilty Readers book tag. I have not done a tag in a while and I actually saw this on Megan's Reading Revelations. I will link her video down below, but I thought this was a very fun tag and I wanted to try it. So stick around to hear my Guilty Reader book tag. So before we get into the questions, I just want to let you guys know that if you enjoy this bookish content, please let me know in the comments. Also, I post new videos every Tuesday and Sunday, and if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to, you can always hit that notification button to be notified when I post new content. So with that, let's get into the tag. First question, have you ever re-gifted a book you have been given? That is a firm no. I don't know why someone would do that. I feel like I don't get books very often as gifts. And when someone does give me a book as a gift, I think that's really sweet. Because like they went out of their way to like give me something they think I would enjoy. So like I'm not gonna re-gift that. I don't think I've ever given away a book that someone actually has like given me as a gift. Next question, have you ever said you read a book when you haven't? And I 100% have done this all through high school. I did not like reading what I was assigned. If you tell me I have to read a book, I'm not going to read it. It's the worst habit and it sticks because there are books that I was supposed to read in high school that I read in college that I was like, oh man, that was a really good book. I wish I read that. Like I think The Giver I was supposed to read in like elementary school, I refused to, Hatchet, like those like classic ones. I just always didn't read them. Um, Iliad, Odyssey, a bunch of classics that I like put off reading and then I'd like take the test and use spark notes and cheat and all that fun stuff. But yes, I've definitely said I've read books when I have it, but not for the last 15 years or so. Have you ever borrowed a book and not returned it? Yes, and I still feel guilty about it to this day. It happened in high school and it was The Road. I forget the author and I had to do a report on it and someone in my group let me borrow it. And then I think summer break started like a week after and I didn't give it back to them. And then the next year in school, like I held on to this book and was like, I have to return it. They didn't come back to school in the fall. I think we like, we went into upper high school or something happened and I didn't give back to them and I felt so bad, so bad. So yes, that has happened only once. It will never happen again. Um, I also really don't love borrowing books from people because I dog ear pages and I know a lot of people aren't a huge fan of that. So I try not to borrow books if I can help it. Have you ever read a series out of order? And that is a yes. And I'm so angry with myself for doing it. The, the These are older books. So the Sookie Sackhouse uh, collection, uh, what True Blood is based off of, I read those completely out of order because I didn't realize it was like a series when I started. I think I read like the third in the series and then had to go backwards, so that stunk. And then I also, uh, Throne of Glass, I read Assassin's Blade like four books in or three books in, which I guess doesn't really matter when. I read it whenever it was released, so it didn't really go with the order of things. But yeah, I think that's it. I don't suggest ever reading books out of order. It kind of like ruins the entire experience of like reading the series, but oh well, it happens. Have you ever spoiled a book for someone? And this is a yes, kind of. So me and my husband started dating when I was just out of uh, college and Game of Thrones was very popular. I had read all of the books just because I wanted to know what was gonna happen. And for a time, anytime my husband really made me mad, I would threaten to spoil Game of Thrones for him. And at one point I was so frustrated and so annoyed with him, I actually did spoil something and he didn't talk to me for like two days. And then the books and the show kind of like changed directions, so I couldn't really hold it over his head anymore, but yeah. So I didn't spoil a book, but I spoiled a show based on a book. Have you ever dog-eared a book? And I already answered that. Yes, I pretty much dog-ear all of my physical books, even if I have bookmarks. It's just something I do, and I don't know, I mean, they're my books. I feel like I should be able to do whatever I want with them. And even when I like let people borrow my books, I'm like, look, I'm sorry. They're all dog-eared. It's fine. And yeah, that's it. I don't see a problem with it. I understand that it is a huge pet peeve for some people. Have you ever told someone you don't own a book when you do? This is a no. And I'm not really sure in what circumstance someone would do that. That just seemed like a very odd question to me. But no, I've never said I owned a book when I didn't own the book. 
Have you ever told someone you haven't read a book when you have? And this is a yes a few times, but again, it wasn't on purpose. It was more of, I forgot I read that book. And when they started explaining the synopsis and explaining like why I might like it, I'm like, oh, I already read that. And then I feel bad because they've already like started explaining. I'm like, never mind, I already read it. So yes, sometimes, but again, it was always an accident. I never meant to say I hadn't read the book. Have you ever skipped a chapter or a section of a book? Normally, if I'm really not enjoying a book that much, I'll just DNF it. That's kind of my new thing this year. If I'm not liking a book, I'm not gonna read it. I'm not gonna force myself to read books I don't like. I have skimmed some books, uh, actually Game of Thrones. I skimmed a lot because there's just a lot of, a lot of detail that some of it I just, I didn't need. So yeah, I'll skim passages, but if I feel the need to like completely skip things, it probably isn't the book for me. So yeah, that's how I feel about that. And the last question is, have you ever badmouthed a book you actually liked? This is a no. I mean, I've badmouthed, not even badmouthed, I've discussed why I didn't like aspects of a book that I overall enjoyed, but I've never been like, oh man, I hate that book, and then actually really enjoyed it just because like hype around it or whatever. So no, I won't badmouth a book I like. If I like a book, I'm gonna say I like a book and I'm gonna talk about why I like that book and that's the whole point that I do like reviews. So yeah, that's, that's a note of that one. And that is it for my tag. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I tag anyone else who wants to do this book tag. I thought it was so fun. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, especially that I dog your pages because I know people are gonna have something to say about that. But if you don't know yet, post new videos every Tuesday, Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.